Welcome to this OwnCloud video showing the admin settings available in OwnCloud 8.1. First, we'll log in as an administrator in OwnCloud. This login will take us into the Files view. From the Files view, as an administrator, we can click on the top right drop down menu and be taken to the admin page. First on the admin page, you'll see the security and setup warnings. For example, in this case, the system is suggesting that we may want to, for performance reasons, configure memcache. If we want to know how to do that, we can click on the embedded documentation links and take a look at other performance enhancements available for OwnCloud. There are other options such as enabling HTTP, and in this case, of course, suggesting the use of HTTPS. Further, this section includes a link to the installation guide, as well as links to the log file. If you click on that link, you'll be taken further down the fade page to the OwnCloud log file, where you can take a look at either inline in the web interface or download for offline use the log file for the OwnCloud server. Back up at the top, we can now take a look at the sharing dialog. In here, you'll see all the options about sharing, and if you click on the information uh, button, we'll once again be taken to the documentation about file sharing. This will explain all the options available to the administrator so that you can, for example, enforce password protection or set default expiration dates. This means that if a file or folder is shared via a link, it will be required and it will be deleted automatically after seven days. We can also, for example, select to exclude certain groups from sharing on this own cloud server. If there is a group that should not have the sharing capability, while they will still be able to receive shares from people, they will not be able to initiate shares. In the next section, we see federated cloud sharing. And if we click on this button, again, we'll be taken to the documentation to show us a little bit more about federated cloud sharing. Federated cloud sharing enables you to share files and folders between own cloud instances. So for example, if I, as the user on own cloud one, want to share a file with you and you're a user on own cloud two, I send you one of these share links. You simply add this share link to your own cloud instance and now my files and folders that I shared with you appear in your files tree as if it is resident on your server. As a user of OwnCloud, I would receive a share link and have the option, if allowed by the administrators of both OwnCloud servers, to add this remote share to my OwnCloud instance if I accept or to cancel and not add if I don't want to accept the shared links on my OwnCloud server. That makes it very simple for a user to work with and collaborate across OwnCloud instances. Back in the admin panel, we can now take a look at external storage. External storage allows you to mount various external storage locations onto your OwnCloud server so that it appears as if OwnCloud is hosting those files, even though those files remain in, for example, the FTP server on the back end. We also support SSFTP, SIFs, other web app servers, and many more. The filing handling option allows you to set a maximum upload size. Here we've set it to 513 megabytes, but you can change it and set it as you need. Inside the admin panel, we're also able to edit our mail templates. In this particular case, I can choose, for example, the sharing email. This is the email that goes out when, from inside OwnCloud, I email someone a link to the shared file. This can be edited in here, as well as all of the other email templates to allow you to customize OwnCloud. Next, you'll see the cron. Cron is important because it allows you to configure background jobs for OwnCloud. If you click on the information button, you'll see the documentation associated with defining background jobs and setting up cron to effectively work in your use case. Because cron can impact so many elements of the OwnCloud system, we encourage you to ensure that you configure it properly when setting it all up. We also have server-side encryption capabilities, which can be enabled from here can set up email server connections, can view the log file, which we've already seen, and allow you to download the log file itself, and we have a tips and tricks section. This includes links and tips and tricks on how to set up a scalable and performant own cloud server for your particular use case. If you want to know more about backups or monitoring or performance tuning, even how to theme the own cloud server, these will be quick shortcuts to that documentation. Versions, updates, and the updater backup are the last three apps on this page. Updates allows you to monitor an own cloud channel and update your own cloud server as you desire. For example, it can push an update to your own cloud server of a new major release, or it can be used to update to the daily builds or even release candidates um, as own cloud is in development. 
The updater backups are used by the Updates app to take a backup of your own cloud before updating, just in case there are any problems in the update process. And with that, we complete our walkthrough of the admin panel for OwnCloud 8.1. We encourage you to take a look, give it a try, and we look forward to talking to you in our next webinar.